Hey everyone, this is Mr. Z and welcome to this AutoCAD 2018 tutorial on how to design a bicycle in AutoCAD. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to want you to do is download the bicycle file located in the description of this video. Once you've done that, I'd like you to open it up in a photo viewer, then right click on your image and go over to copy. That's going to copy it over into your AutoCAD clipboard and I'm going to start a drawing file now. Go over to paste. And then hopefully when you click that, you should be holding an image silhouette in your cursor. I'm going to go ahead, click somewhere on my screen, and it's going to first give you the ability to scale it. So for this project, I'm going to scale it to five by pressing five and enter. And then you can apply it at an angle. Now we want it to be at a crisp 90 degrees. So I'm going to turn on my ortho mode, and then I'm going to go ahead and click once more to apply the image. I'm going to zoom in with the scroll wheel, press escape twice, and I'm going to create a layer for this image. So go to layer properties, right click, new layer. I'm going to call this image. Okay, and I'm going to right click, new layer, and I'm going to call this one, let's just call it lines. And that's going to be the line profiles we're going to use to sweep everything together. So for the image, we'll just leave that at white, and for the lines, Let's go ahead and change that to red. Awesome. Okay. Once you've done that, I would like you to click once, hover, and click over the corner. So you select this image, then go over to home, click here, and switch over to the image layer. Okay. So that's going to store this in the image layer such that I could deactivate it, deactivate it if I'd like. Okay. I'm going to turn that back on. I'm going to press escape twice and now I'm going to head over to the lines layer so I can start drawing some lines. And the reason we dropped the bike here is now we can use its frame as our line references. Let's start to draw some lines now. L for line, enter. Make sure you turn off your ortho mode or you will not be able to draw at angles. And then we're going to draw a line for this portion of the frame. And I'm going to press escape once, move over here, and then enter to draw a line for this portion. And then escape once and enter again. I'm going to draw a line for this portion. Escape, enter. Let's draw a line for this over here. I'm going to go in just slightly like that. Okay. Escape, enter, and draw a line. For this portion, and I'm going to keep going just a hair more. Escape, enter. I'm going to draw a line as well for here. Escape. And that's, those are all the vertical lines because these, uh, these will contain the, the wheel, so they can't actually be flat. We're going to have to kind of curve them around. Okay, so starting with the bottom one, I'm going to rotate the screen by holding down shift and rolling the middle scroll wheel. Head over here, turn on my ortho mode, and press L for line. I want to draw a line vertically up, and we want to be consistent with how we do this, so I'm going to say 0.3 for mine. If yours is too much, just don't use 0.3, use something more than that. Okay, and then I'm going to just stretch a line out. It doesn't matter if it matches or not, you just need to have a line kind of sticking out there. Okay? And I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to enter to activate my line tool. Go vert vertically up, 0.3. And then I'm just going to kind of drag this down over relatively to the point like that. Okay? So I have two lines in place. We also technically would need one over here. So let's just build off this line that we already have. I'm going to draw a line that just goes to say about there and now I'm gonna draw another line going up 0.3 enter and then going over to this part over here okay press escape okay now that we have our lines all drawn we're gonna have to rotate those so go ahead and use the command rotate rot enter and I'd like you to select these two portions first, enter, and I want you to click on where they meet that flat portion like that. 
Okay, so you should have the ability to control the angle. Turn off your ortho mode or you won't get anything precise. And then I'm going to just hold down the shift, adjust my scroll wheel on the mouse so that I'm able to select the exact angle that I want because this is going to be kind of drawn by sight. I'm just matching it up with the image and I'm pressing down once, escape twice. If you did it correctly, it should match up. Okay, we'll do this one next. ROT, enter, select these two, enter, and then click on the middle point there to get an adjustment. And I'm going to adjust it to there. Okay. And then I'm going to lastly head over to this final one here. ROT, enter, select those two, enter, and then click there adjust my view and get this one in place. There we go. Uh, a little off. I'm going to get one more try with this one. ROT. This, this, enter, there. There we go. Perfect. So now we've aligned all three into place. Let's go ahead and smooth this out. Okay, let's go ahead and turn off the image for a second. So I'm going to go to the image layer and deactivate it so we can just focus on our lines. I'm going to press UCS to move my XY coordinate system to this part here. So I clicked on the bottom, then that's my X, and my Y is going to go in that direction. So it's facing like that. And then I'm going to draw an arc. Let's use the one that says start end direction. Click on that. This will be our start over here. Our end will be somewhere on this line. And then the direction will be just angled so that the wheel will fit in this area. So a slight angled surface there. And then you can use the trim command to select all that and press enter. And then trim off the excess line and delete anything that's not necessary. Okay. We're going to do the same now for this one. Start with UCS, enter. I'm going to put it on the top here. Then I'm going to go with my X and with my Y like that. And then I'm going to go to the arc tool, start end direction. And I'm going to start there and there and adjust a slight angle like that. Use the trim command, select everything, enter, and trim off the unnecessary portion and delete the rest. So we're going to have a arc there. Okay, and hovering to the last one here. Let's go ahead, UCS, enter, put it there, X direction, Y direction, escape twice, then arc, start and direction, start there and there, and a slight angle like that. Perfect, trim command, enter, select, enter, and trim that off, escape twice, click that, delete that. Perfect. So now we have these adjusted to fit in the wheels. That took a lot, so take a break and I'll see you in part two.